uh, basically, uh, I equally don't see the point there because then at the end of the day, if you're going to do international collaboration and there's no future, because at the end of the day, we tap into people's uh, followers, people's, people's reach. Just like I'll, I'll give the example the way uh, Sonori Exo tapped in Tungtel and once there's, there's people when, when he actually did the tattoo and stuff, mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's. They, they, she responded back. He got people, he, the, most of them tell him one's followers as well. Mm. His reach is high now. So it's the same thing. Um, we have Zambian musicians that have been featured on these platforms to actually do these international, which is very amazing. Karandian has done a good job for the Zambian music industry by having these guys uh, working with these guys. But the bad part is the f where these guys are not sharing because at the end of the day, those fans don't even know that there's a song that AK has been featured. Yeah. So you find sometimes you find someone's just walking through. Let's say I'm, I'm an AK fan. I'm from South Africa. Mm -hmm. Maybe it just shows up on TV. I'm like, oh, there's a song and there's AK in it. Yeah. I didn't know about that. Yeah. You know, because they didn't maybe see AK posted mm -hmm. on his socials. Yeah. So I don't know how the agreement there is between them. <sighs> it it, it also just doesn't make sense to me because yeah. if you're going to have somebody even be in the video, I don't know how. I don't know if that's maybe the most expensive part of the contract. Maybe that comes with a fee of its own maybe to have it well, shared. Exactly. But if you think about it, if anybody. you think about it, this must be karma because even our very own Zamin artists do that to upcoming artists because <laughs> you're gonna have a, an established <laughs> I artist. Love that. That was karma. Yeah, it must be karma because you're gonna have a an artist. I'm Chumweka man. I'm a coming musician. I feature Man. Flo Boy, oh, who's <laughs> been there. Oh yeah, I forgot to name the, <laughs> let's name them. You're going to feature Maki too. But I think Maki even shares. At least yeah. I see him once in a no, while. No, no, Maki too does share. Yeah, but you know you're going to feature maybe a Bobby East or a Slab D. You hardly ever see those songs mm -hmm. show up on their, on their social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's different agreements that, that come with that. There's some that, yes, do make it, but there must be a reason. Maybe the artist just felt like, I think I really did well on this song, so I have to share it. Or <clears throat> maybe they want a different fee altogether. So... Maybe this explains why this is not happening for some of our artists. Yeah, I think, um, you know, uh, I think this strategy they have already started. They have learned it now with the international features. <laughs> because then if this happens here where someone features an, a big artist and the big artist does not give them the overwhelming support by also mm. sharing. Mm. And, you know, like for us as Zambian music, our industry is like quite small. We are still stuck in the Zambian scene. I tell upcoming artists to say, don't fear because the scene, his slap D, his rap kit, you've got a chance to also get there and actually get even more than there because <coughs> at this level, we have not reached the international level yet. Do you, but do you think it's also like an, uh, it's these artists being embarrassed because you, it's either you're embarrassed that maybe the song won't do well despite you being on it or you are scared that this artist is going to be bigger than you. Mm -hmm. If they tap into your following, they just might become bigger than you. And these things happen in this where you give this person an opportunity and then it they just, just flourish. They flourish and they begin to be, uh, people prefer them over you who introduce <laughs> them to, yeah. to the industry. And I know some artists who feel like that, but isn't that what the industry should be, where yes, you yes. create that platform for other people? Yes, because um, I feel if you, you're a made artist, you've been in this game for a while. At this particular point, you need to be giving chances to upcoming artists to also get their space. Why would you say if I put them up, I think they might overshine me? Yeah, I think that's you know that that, that one is not a very basic reason for a big artist to actually go ahead. But, but you know what I think is the real problem. I've I've actually think I've thought, I've thought about it. This happens in almost every industry, even those who might not be in entertainment, but they work in the corporate world. There's this thing that people do, especially those who who've been there before. They do this thing when they see younger people or newer people, they deliberately try to frustrate them because when they were coming up, it wasn't easy for them. So, Flo Boy, you've seen your struggle <laughs> getting to where you are now. Mm -hmm. And then some young, excited radio presenter comes through and he goes straight to the top. He goes to the, 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 the platform you've always wanted to be on. Mm -hmm. or, or if you have the opportunity to allow that to happen, you probably want this kid to struggle a little bit. You'd want him to feel pain because others believe... No, there's lessons in pain. That's when it builds character and what, what, what. So some people don't want to ha see you have it easy. So if you do a song with me, Flo Boy, and I share, say, this is what has happened, uh, as maybe as that artist, I'm feeling like, mm, this guy might blow up too easy. Mm -hmm. He might just tap into my fan base and he might blow up. He needs to struggle the way I struggled to get there. But I think that's not fair. 
Because then you wouldn't say, because I struggled, let me also let my friends struggle. When you're seeing what you went through, I think your example of what you went through should not be the same experience the other person needs to go through. You know what I mean? Sometimes you'd be there to help. You get what I mean? It's, it's fine to help. I, I, I have gone through a situation where I have a, a, a radio presenter, a radio DJ, who actually overtook where I started and became mm. way bigger than I was. Mm. I'll talk about the, less, the late Caristo uh, yeah. Clear. Yeah. Caristo Clear found me at Unza Radio when he came on. Mm. He's like, oh, you're a flow boy, man. Uh, we listen to you in the hood. My niggas talk about you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're finally meeting me because he came on. on um, he, was a f he was in the fan club before mm -hmm. he actually got to radio. Mm -hmm. I remember Nelson then telling me, ah, flow boy, yeah, there's Caristo here. Yeah. Help him learn one or two things. See what mm. I mean? came through, taught him one or two things. He became a big guy. See what I mean? The mm -hmm. whole country knew Caristo even before me. Mm -hmm. But I was still there in the background. It was his time. I think he had his time. I still was there also to help him know one or two things before he actually got to where he was. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I think it's not about looking down on somebody's beginning. If you've gone through whatever hell, whatever it is that you went through, you don't expect someone else who's also coming up to also go through the same thing. I think sometimes you also need to be a person who leads the way. Because that person, at the end of the day, if you're an artist that is already established and you help an upcoming come up, they'll always remember to say, ah, mm. See what I mean? So, uh, a beautiful night. Do you think that's, that's our December banger? Because we're getting into December. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to peak? Mm, and, 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 big and the peak song? level, and the peak level at the moment, people are bouncing to it, but it hasn't yet shaken the whole scenario yet to that level. Because then, uh, people, I, I feel people are still catching up to the vibe. Uh, hopefully, there will be no song that will be dropped before then that will overshine that song. Because yeah. uh, at the moment, I would say it's, it's, it's a bit stiff now. You've seen, uh, even even on the hip hop side, right now people are saying um, Sepeda Chile and Jerox are the ones who are leading hip hop this year because of. Uh, the, the, the that the one song. song. Yes, because, see... Uh, really? Because <laughs> we've had hip-hop songs, man. At the moment, the hip-hop songs that have been dropped this year, I think that song has, has more of the chance to actually beat the hip-hop scene of the year. Uh, on the scene or the dance part of the situation, I'm still, I'm still debating. I feel what do you think is going gonna, is gonna to bring it? This year? Yeah. Wow, this year is a bit tricky. We've had enough sounds. We've had Richie Beasy's song that you've mentioned. That was a very good song too. Um, we've had Yo Mops, uh Commando. Uh, we've got all these songs coming up right now. Is quite quite tricky. But mm -hmm. Neil, for me, looks like somebody who would outstand the year because Neil's uh, "At My Worst" is a song that is playing everywhere. He actually. This, uh, the, 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 he, he's actually even invited to go to Kawe, uh, where he'll be performing. Mm -hmm. his, his song has dominated, and I think that song has given me a breakthrough. Yeah. So for me, at, at my the worst, moment, right? at my worst, is still a song that is really shining. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, right. uh, I haven't seen a song that I'd really uh, be happily saying has defeated Neo's at my worst at the moment.